Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneem and I wanted to introduce the concept of forking using GitHub. You're going to need this for the homework assignment. On GitHub, you can go to any project page. Here we're looking at Ember.js is the name of the project and it is in the Ember.js repository. From here, I can click on the fork button and I can fork either to my own um, username or to any organizations I belong to. Here we're just going to fork to our username and this is actually going to copy the entire project, uh, all of the code that's in Git into our uh, repository. So now you can go to schneem slash ember.js and this is a fork of the original um, ember.js. So the, uh, the neat thing about this is it actually maintains a reference to the original. So if I make any ch uh, changes or fixes or bug fixes in this um, project in my own repository, then I can push it up and ha submit a pull request so they can get merged back in. For now and for uh, for the project, what you're going to need to do is um, go and you're going to copy this SSH um, URL, I guess, <laughs> uh, this, uh, I guess maybe it's a URI even, um, except you're not going to do it from the Ember.js project, you're actually going to do it from my Ruby view server project. So here we can come, you just copy this from your own repository, and then you switch to the console or terminal. From here you can type in git clone, and then paste in that uh, URI that you copied in, hit return and it will copy all of that onto your local machine. You can uh, then take a look at it. And open it up in your favorite editor. I like Sublime currently. There you go, now we've got the project locally. You can view the readme and uh, and follow along. Hopefully that helps you get started with, uh, with this, this first section. Um, so clone the, or fork the repository, clone it to your local machine, and from there just follow the instructions, um, starting with exercise number one. Thank you very much, and have fun with the homework.